How's it everybody? This is the erroneous one here. It's in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross video. And today we're going to take on those new reverse metal challenges. I think there's like three quests uh, in this one here. Oh uh, yeah, three quests looks like, one for each attribute type, so it's all well and good. Um, <clears throat> so complete, I'm going to continue, use five or more special attacks and complete within three turns for the Broom Servant, which is the main goal of these ones, is the Broom Servants. Okay, so this one's saying Darkna, obviously. Um, cannot change, it's fine. It's saying that I cannot use any form of, any form of upright metal at all. So not even a copy one. Interesting, okay. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? We'll play with you. Well, no, we'll play with you. So here, here it out. So like I said, we're gonna do this uh, right now this way, mainly so that everybody sees what I'm doing, like the thought processes I'm using in this regard. In there, okay. And how I'm gonna pan it out. Um, Turn that off. That was for a different challenge. And reverse. There we go. Oh, actually, let's go into magic first. Okay, we're going to put she on there. No, wrong she on. She on there. We'll put you right here. Oh, you'll copy her. And then we'll come over here. Oops. And there we go. Okay, so let's see here. Um, the part now I have is I don't have many, many of these things like leveled up to use just yet overall. That's an issue. But we'll be fine. Um, I'm trying to think too. Yeah, for just power strength by three tiers, yeah. I guess there are Pete's there, because Pete's the Pete does one turn reverse by one, targets defense by three. Hmm. The thing is one of the, like, you know, I kinda don't want to use an EX metal in this case, but I'm trying to think about what I have to actually use these ones for. Mainly because not everybody has EX metals. You know, go figure for that one. Uh, same reason, like, I don't want to use, um, Sephiroth there, but. See, I don't even have this one ready to go. Yeah, either this one has, what, strength and damage and raids on it? Okay, you know, let's just go with what I have right now set up for this one. That's what we're going to do, because, like, I don't have any metals ready to go, like, per se, for this one. I'm not sure I want to put too many resources into those things I'm not going to use just yet. So, but I'll still try and keep it like a little more in line. So for instance, I will, um, okay. So for instance, uh, for my spirit slot, I'll put my destroy behemoth right here as my single target hitter. And then I will copy it with my Sheon. She can go there. Um, inflicts more damage in the fourth slot. Okay. Uh, 4.3 uh, AOE. That's not too bad. Yeah, right now. We'll put um, Hades there. And I guess we'll put a... Uh, no, that's the wrong Psyax. Where's my other Psyax at? I know I have another Psyax that's actually leveled. Oh, because you had the strength buff on you. That's right. Okay, so where's the Psyax at? Psyax is right here. This one has ground on it, so it's pretty good. So we'll go with him. Since he was a more easily attainable metal. So, Xion and uh, Venus were um, pull medals in the previous, in the current deal right now with the reverse challenge for Xion, and then Venus in, in the previous two debut banners, and now this one once again. So, he's a good bet. Your Strawberry Hades was, was a free event medal. Um, I think Hades was in general pull. I forget what he was exactly. And of course, Xion is Xion. Um, I mean, I guess I could have used my. I could have used my uh, other Venus, the one that does the times three general strength up. I guess, maybe. Yeah, we're gonna try this way first. I mean, see what it does. So just note as well too, you do, you do not have access to a allied shared metal, unfortunately. 
Wait, what can I take that? Put it at 14. Okay, well, let's see what happens. We're not going to touch our Nova yet either because that wouldn't be very fair to this one. So remember, we beat it within three turns, which I think we're going to be okay at this point. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I didn't even get, didn't even get to Shion. Uh, Hades knocked him out there. Oh, I think my Hades has extra attack on it too. It's not bad. Use five or more special attacks. Let's see. <laughs> it did not live. Okay, so let's try this a little differently. Let's, make, let's try to make it a little fair. Let's, let's remove the EX out of that equation real quick. Um, thankfully, and thankfully, we have zero AP right now, too, as well. So we can... The only downside is that's an upright slot, so I'm still going to lose out the buff. Oh, well. Okay, where is that dude at? This one right here. Uh, Vani Test Remnant. I don't have anything on him. He is not even at max guilt. He's only at 96 guilt. But yeah, he does have ground. He does have defense on him. Raises, for his five hits, raises my strength by three tiers for one turn. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I mean, I guess we can... I mean, why not? Let's give him a whirl and see what he does for us. See, see if this is passable within the three turns with him there. Okay. And away we go. Already not off to a very auspicious start. Let's see, you guys will be my damage dealers. How are they going to do? Okay. You know, I also don't have a second chance too in this setup either, so that'd be a problem as well. And I'm out of SP. Look at that. That's crazy. So we're going to die here. Makes sense. No, we're going to cancel. Okay. So that's good to know. So you need to change out your steps a little more in order to um, be ready for that thing. So this is one of the things where they say that the new skill from the Avatar boards, the um, AB3 plus AB3 Max plus APP would do really well. It would help you restore gauge um, by a lot. Because this one, what's it do? You nine hits lower starts power defense by four tiers for one turn and inflicts more damage and slow. So he lowers power defense, which is good. This one has a six point four multiplier, and he also has ground on him. But this one might be a little better off to utilize. No, that's the rolling dragon on level percent. This one here. This one has AB4 and attack price plus on it. Extra attack and ground. So it'll lower general defense down. So we can put this dragon listen right here. set up for anything right now either no well where's the other laxius um there you are what do you have you have ground on you as well 4.71 or i guess in that regard i can 
remove the strobe behemoth from that one and then put on put this one here on this slot. So that, this one costs three. The only issue again, guys, is, is SP, but this one does have an APP on it. So hopefully that'll help out. And then this one, this one is not set. But I put, I could put like an APP on this one, but let's see if this changes out. Let's see if putting in those combined four tiers of general defense down will get you past this one <clears throat> without using the EX. All right, so is that 293 again? Oh, I should have put a second chance on these other ones. I forgot that. Oh, well, too late now. All right, APP did go off, which is great. There we go. That was a much better round. So that change out from Maleficent for the general defense down worked great. Okay, no APP that time. Could really use it now though. Ooh, that was bad. So I didn't get any form of APP in there at all. Okay, but this did it. So basically, <coughs> adding in the journal if it's down is what kept you going in that one. So that's not bad to know. Uh, that works great. Let's go grab this chest so I can just get my keyboard back to being full again. There we go. So that's good to know. So you can you can do these quests without using EX medals right there. You, I didn't need to use the Illustrated Shion. I just need to get uh, add in a medal that did journal difference down. Good to know. And I'm assuming it's going to be much the same way throughout the other ones as well, more than likely. So let's go find out. Because doing these with SDS medals for you guys is no fun. Okay, so same thing here. I'm guessing these ones as well. Yeah. Use five more special attacks and go within three turns. Okay, so this time we use the magic one. I don't know what that sad setup is. I have no idea what this setup is. Oh, that was probably a, a proud quest one when you had to have X amount of reverse blades on there. Okay. Um. We'll play with this one here. Let's see. Um, let's go take my magic one again real quick and let's grab. Let's grab a bonnie toss again, put him here. And then change it out again a little bit this way. We'll grab the um, other bonnie toss I have as well. This is uh, Vanitas Remnant. That's right, Vanitas Remnant. Vanitas, Vanitas, Vanitas. We'll go, let's, let's call him Vanitas. Vanitas. Okay, and now back to my Magic Reverse. That's a boosted one right there. Okay, so we are going to come here and we're going to use this guy because he does raise my PSM strength by four tiers and wait, for T, wait, blah, blah, blah. He does best with mortgages full as well. So for two turns versus PSM strength by four tiers and PSM defense by two tiers, lowest target strength. Okay, yeah, so we'll use him. I'll put him right here. Ooh, he would actually be a little better off. Okay, yeah, actually, that'd be better off than the unit. So I can use my key 11 here on this one. 
And that works out quite a bit better. So definitely going that route now. So I'm trying to think what else I have. I mean, I can use... Don't want to use Mark Lucia. Yeah, I could put this on this one. Is this a boosted one? Does it damage? Oh, I had damage and rage on. That's right. Not helpful in this regard, unfortunately. AB3 max and SP gauge 1 on this one. 10 hits inflicts more damage the higher your HP. He's a possibility, so we'll put him right here. Just be on the safe side. Lower strength of all targets by one tier for two turns. Yeah, that's not bad. See, I was kind of really hoping that I would find... Ah, Malibus right here. 3.16. Right? Hits five hits for two turns. Inflicts more damage and more gauges are full. One tier for two turns. Interesting that. Um, Xehanort may be my best bet, though, is my main damage dealer. 4.58. He's not bad for that one. Strength plus 1,000. So I'll probably put him right here. Uh, everything must reverse. Ground and extra, extra attack on this one. And this one has what? Strength, yeah. Alright, so I think I'm going to put my Ursula right here instead. And this one, does this one restore gauges? I don't hitch for Razor Strength by three tiers, lowers target defense and defense by two tiers, restores three gauges, yeah. So we'll use this type of here and see how this pans out. Again, no EX medals in this one. Uh, try to use most metals are easier to get a hold of for, for more players, but we'll see how it goes. Um, again, Zex and Vanit uh, Vanitas are both in this current banner. Ursula has been around for a while and she was um, somewhat easily attainable. And Master Xehanort is also a easily attainable medal for the most part, he's always around. Uh, and uh, Kia 11 was a VIP deal. I did forget my pet slot though, so let's go my pet slot real quick. Um, let's go back to my reverse setup. Do I have anything else with APP to help me out? Drag him a little bit again. See, that's my main worry. I don't have anything else there that's going to have gauge restoration on it to help. And gauge is obviously going to be kind of an important thing here. Ah. Uh. Well, you know what? I can always just um, go find that Maleficent again. Where is she? Here we go. Just has APP on it. Um, AB2, APP. I'm not really concerned about the uh, the skill on her for the most part. Just the fact that she can do restoration. And also has, uh, there's only a one cost. I don't think I have anything else that has APP on it over here right now, unfortunately. Uh, Cat is here once again wanting attention. There's that, Roxas.
Eh, I mean, Vexen, uh, Vexen's here. Eh, why not? I'll try Vexen. Help me survive the turns. Hopefully. Let's find out. So, no form of APP in this one. That's kind of scary, but we'll see what we do. Uh, okay. 198. That's 100 less than the other one. Interesting. Fair enough. Okay, yeah, I think I think I'll be fine with this go around. All right, Zaynort, he does proc. Not bad at all. And I did survive uh, through the application of the defense boost from um, Vexen and from my Zexion. Kier 11 does restore my gauges, so APP is an issue in this one because it does restore my gauges. I forgot about that. Okay, two turns. There we go. Not bad. That's not bad at all, honestly. We did pretty good there. Uh, what was that on ESPN? So, Magic Mirrors, Jewels, and Magic Broom. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, so now we're on the Magic one here. This is the Trick Master. Same conditions. Um, this time, though, with the Missing Ake. Um, boom, 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 boom. Okay, so Missing Ake. Let's do this. Um, equipment. So I think for this one, I actually am going to keep up with the same, same bus beforehand. I'm going to use that one, the Vanitas, and of course the Key RD11 again right here. Because that allows me to get some really good buffs going in there, plus debuffs. So I get the um, times 6 strength up, and then I'm going to get the uh, times 4 PSM defense down on my enemies, plus it restores 3 gauges, so I don't have to worry about APP, which is very nice. Now let's go into the speed setup here. Um... I have this Lark Scene set up right here at 180, but this is the one I want to use because it has ground and strength on it, but I don't, have, I don't have anything set up for it. I don't have any skills on it or anything yet, so we'll ignore that one, but if you have one like that, that's a good, good, that's a good way to go for sure. Um, Twilight Thorn is also a very good way to go. Okay, we will put in our... Final Form Machine, we'll go there. And we're putting this one here because um, ground strength, and also it was a mercy pool medal, so you, you can get it within five pools from her banner. It's been in the pool for a while too, as well. Um, what's the general defense? Aerial and ground on that one too as well. 150 max. Uh, deals 8 hits, lowers even small targets by one tier for two turns. Inflicts more damage the higher the slot number. So we'll put Riku in our pet slot for this one. Um, max HP plus 2 and Zaldan B. Still a very good Zaldan though. Very good multiplier on that one. Uh, Zigbar B. Strength plus 1,000. Ventus, Venetus. Oh, that's okay.
I'm trying to think mainly like what do I want. Do I want? Some, I mean, I kind of want to get some general defense down here. Uh, so we could just end up going in with you. AB3 max. Yeah, so we'll go in there with key already, uh, key R3 right there. Or, you know what? Gage plus two on this all done. I can put... Where's my other Zigbar? That's actually, there you go, this one. AP3 max, strength plus 1,000. Three point multiplier, cost is six though. It's a hefty cost. Uh, okay, yes, yeah, so you know, we'll leave it that way and then we'll put in my Zaldan here. All right, there we go. That's not, oops, not too bad. It's a decent enough setup there for those kind of things. Let's see what we can do here with this one, guys. I hope you guys don't mind me doing my setups with you guys on, on the video. Like I said, I'm doing it because it shows you guys what I'm thinking when I'm going through and doing these videos. So, I mean, hopefully it helps some, some people out. All right, 98 again. <clears throat> it's interesting that these two opponents have 100 less HP bars than the first one. I find the odd. The, uh, the dark side. Mm, much better damage than that one. That was very good. 56 is pretty good. So, yes, you guys know you will need to have some kind of um, second chance equipped as well. That would be important. Yeah, this should be it. Yep, there we go. All right, so these are, these quests are not impossible by any stretch of the imagination. They're uh, once you get some things going into into these, they are pretty easy to get through. Of course, your main goal is to have metals that are going to utilize um, the general defense down. It looks like that's going to be like one of your best skills to have. So you're going to want to have your general strength up and your general defense down. That seems to be the best bet. Uh, you don't even need to have them be matching up for the most part. Like matching attributes, for instance, if you have like a speed metal. If you're running like the power setup where you have to use a dark knot and you and your your drone defense down metal is our speed metals use those like uh, final form shion just use those to get the, the defense down and then utilize your last three slots slot four and five and then your pet slot which is technically slot six and let those be your um your damage only slots because you do have three turns in these things with which to actually go forth and get the magic brooms so oh neat uh, so something, something to consider. That's not a bad thing to do at all. So keep that in mind and try and see if that help you guys out going through um, and doing a lot of these things through that one. It's just general defense down. Don't worry about uh, keeping up with the attributes. Like your, your last three slots can be your damage slots because you can go through and uh, let those be damage dealers because so you have three turns to go through and actually uh, complete this quest. So, I mean, they weren't too hard for the most part. They are definitely a little challenging in terms of not using EX metals. If you do have EX metals, like, for instance, if you do have... Um, HD Shion on EX, you're, you're going to breeze through this. I mean, it won't even be a, be a challenge for the most part. Like I showed in the first one, um, have, having that uh, Shion on EX in that first one made it really, really easy uh, going forward. But um, it is possible to beat these without EX medals and using uh, more player-friendly medals. But anyway, guys, I uh, hope this helped you guys out. hope you guys at least enjoyed watching it. And if all this fails, uh, I will see you guys in the next one. So I'll see you guys later.